Thank you, Lisa. Okay, let's talk about the new value adding products. So what are the current performance topics the pulping industry is, is thinking about? For sure, on top of the ad agenda is uh, safety and environmental performance. Then comes the profitability, meaning the cost hunting and the production efficiency, availability and so on. How the mill is performing. Product differentiation and the quality of the, of the product certainly has an effect on profitability as well, so high of importance. But then comes the new, new products, new value-added products. The mill may have a waste stream that is made to produce heat and power, maybe not that high value. So, what to do with that stream? There are alternatives. If you look at the technologies that are already out there to make waste streams high value products. If I pick some of these examples here, all these are actually already operational or already close to. Integrated sulfuric acid production, for example, being operational in Metzafibers be a product mill several years. It uses dolorous gases where there's plenty of sulfur and converts that sulfur into the sulfuric acid and then again used in the mill processes, recycling at its best. Methanol purification, we know that methanol has pretty bad smell, nasty stuff. So if we get rid of that, it widens the utilization where it can be used. Again, higher value. Lean extraction, already proven technology for years. Same with the black pellet production and the sugar extraction. And the newest in the, in the team, in the pack, is textile recycling. I will come back to that a little bit later. So talking about the lean extraction, actually the market development has been very slow over the years, but now I see that there's something happening there. First of all, there are several potential uses, carbon fibers, resins, phenols, maybe plastics, transportation fuel, and some other applications. And there are several players who are working on those topics. Chemical pulping, I know that several companies have a teams dedicated on, on lignin. Several universities, research institutes are working on research on LinkedIn as well. There are startup companies, spin-offs, and chemical industries looking for uh, new feeds for their processes, bio feed. So how can we help to make this happening, open the market for, for LinkedIn? We can make feasibility studies. What is the implication of the LinkedIn extraction to the to the pulp mill process, material balance, heat balance, and so on. So we have that know-how. We can provide that to you guys. When the end user comes into the picture, thinking about a new application, first question is, or request, is a sample. I need sample. So we have pilots that can be taken to the mill and make samples of that specific linging in black liquor raw material. And if, if and when things are progressing well, then there's a demand or higher, de higher amount of samples. And we have a solution for that as well. Lignin boost the excess, we call it extra small, to make a large amount of material lignin for maybe continuous process of the end user. And then the lignin boost, finally, the full scale plant. Okay, I said that market development has been fairly slow, but now I see that there's something happening. I would like to hear your view on it. Please give your vote. Is a market breakthrough going to happen in one to two years? Never or something between. Let me know, I'm very interested in 
know in that, and you are the experts. Let's continue with the textile recycling. This is promoted by several megatrends, actually. Consumer behavior, they are for recycling. Legislation is pushing to the same direction. There's a ban of landfilling in several countries. You, you can't do that anymore. And cotton has its own issues. A lot of water consumed in aggregation and uh, use of chemicals as well. So the combining the new innovations and the technologies applied already in the chemical pulping, wood-based chemical pulping, is a key here. Something new has been developed. And here is an example. A company called Renewcell has invested in building a plant. Will be started up next year. And in that process, in that mill, textile waste is processed to make this solid pulp. We as Walmart, we are delivering some of the key processes into the system, into the mill, stock preparation, bleaching, uh, concentrating on the kind of latter part of the process. So what made this possible? It's a Long cooperation with the Renew Cell. We have pilot facilities. We have been working to develop the process together. Our know how of pulping, because this, in the end, it's about the fibers, it's a question of about pulping. And our portfolio turned out to be fitting very well in this process. And we have a long experience of dissolving pulping. So this combination made it happen. So as a conclusion, it can be said that there are already out there several concrete solutions that has been proven already in the industrial scale to meet the demands of changing business environment and creating new value-added products.